The Learning Channel or The Lying Channel, TLC. We all know it, okay? I'm Justin Jedlicka, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a living doll. At this point in reality, we should know by now. Suddenly I stopped producing breast milk, so now I collect breast milk for my friends. That almost nothing we see, and more importantly, nothing that is shown to us is real. A little down today, don't you? We all grew up with the full realization that reality television and just television in general is completely fake. It's all mostly exaggerated narratives with maybe a nugget of truth to relieve whatever doubts of reality a smooth-brained, bug-eyed hominid might have. A cave-dwelling troglodyte, if you will. A mouth breather with room temperature IQ. I mean, when what's on the screen is this! Safely concealed behind the walls of his courtyard, Robert spends hours inside his silicone creation. <sighs> There's gotta be something there to keep us going. If we all know it's not real, then why is it still here? Maybe it is real, maybe that's why. Maybe this is all just one big game. I think it is. Reality TV, in my opinion, is one of the worst things that has happened to humanity. Aside from all those other bad things, today we're talking about TLC and their profit off death. Sorry, I couldn't hear you, I got my Raycons in. These everyday earbuds look, sound, and feel better than ever. They've got optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. I'm listening to funk. They don't budge. They're not going to fall out of your head like those stupid other brands. Also, Raycon's everyday earbuds have the best value ever. With a 32-hour battery life, you'll be bumping funky sounds in your head for half the price. I personally like the noise isolation feature of the everyday earbuds. All right, I like to be in my own little world, plus the sound profiles, etc. These things do it all. You need better earbuds. You need Raycons. So click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com forward slash oompa for 15% off your Raycon purchase. That's right, guys. 15% off. Please, instead of smashing the like button, please click the link. Please, I need you to oh. get them. And then send me a picture of you wearing it. Wearing them, all right? And I'll retweet it. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. The most brazenly evil and psychotic television channel on air and on YouTube, because that's where most of it lives nowadays. But TLC didn't start off all bad. I mean, it's literally called The Learning Channel. It had to have some form of a humble beginning. Officials in the Los Angeles suburb of Arcadia have taken custody of a 13-year-old girl, and they say was kept in such isolation by her parents that she never even learned to talk. The girl still wore diapers and was uttering infantile noises when a social worker discovered the case two weeks ago. But the authorities are hoping she still may have a normal learning capacity. It's all based on ratings, baby. It's all based on ratings. Trends, ratings, every time something a little bit new is tried, that ushers in a new era of cringe on television and doing stuff just for ratings. It's a happy little trail of money, my children. And you can follow it if you'd like. But if you do, you're not gonna find a <coughs> or anything fun like that, probably. You're just gonna find a lot of cliches. Okay. There you go, you have moist towelettes. But TLC is what I love, and TLC is what I like watching. And the fact that TLC basically wants their characters to die makes it just that much more entertaining. <laughs> I just, I'm just kidding, guys. But it is true, it's true. Funny story, the first TLC show was actually about books. Remember those old things? Me neither. I can't even read. And this show wasn't just about any old books, it was about books that changed the course of literature and the history of it. It was a great show. It was literally called Great Book. And it lived up to the name and premise of the Learning Channel. But somewhere along the way, as society, we kind of took a wrong turn, okay? We followed the little happy trail of money. Entertainment has shifted over the last, you know, decades in the worst possible ways. Reality TV is the craze. MTV shows, 16 and pregnant, okay? 16 and recovering, dude. What is all this shit? Why'd my mom watch it when I was growing up? Why is her mouth open in every picture? Damn. Kim, you're doing girl? amazing, push the, sweetie. Push this knee out. Talk. Did you want me to get a girl pregnant when I was 16? Because I want to be on TV. As another example, TLC no longer wanted to talk about paleontology and paleo, paleo world. world. Sundays at 9 Eastern and Pacific on TLC. I'd put my pecker down for a moment, quit pilking. And I'd watch this. But it, then we will f that though. We don't care about interesting, cool things. I want to watch this. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Big fat guy. <laughs> yeah. 
In the year 2000, at the beginning of the new millennia, huh? yeah, the beginning of the new millennia, that's it, thousand years, they stopped with any kind of educational content and started just shitting Dookie out. Hey, massive daddy. I've had 125 procedures. And then when YouTube came out, they started shitting Dookie out into YouTube. And then that was shit Dookie into our faces again. Uh, but on a different platform. It was really awesome, dude. But even the Dookie at first was good. There was Junkyard Wars. Welcome to Junkyard Wars, the show that brings power to the people. The I Duggers. need some serious help to be able to get it all together. And so I brought my sisters down to Florida to get everything prepared. Which is like some my 19 Kids and Counting, I think it was called. My mom used to love that show, dude. My mom sounds like she has a terrible taste in television. <laughs> I'm starting to realize. Like I said, it's now TLC waters? is just truly <laughs> dookie. Where's Isaiah? He's got the money. This is on Isaiah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their ratings come from people hate watching or watching simply so they can look down on people. If you look at basically any comment on any TLC video, the comments are mostly negative for all of these situations. My 600 pound life, thousand pound sisters, the Shauna Ray thing. It's, it's all people talking smack about the topic or character, the, the person that is the topic of that specific episode of that specific show. It's very negative. It's a lot of punching down, all right? So I'm starting today by walking into the doctor's office. You like that? You like that? They don't like it, all right? I know some of them. They don't like it very much. They just take normal folks, live in their lives, and then put them in situations to cause conflict. If he puts his hands on his ex-wife one more time, there's gonna definitely be a problem. They add reality TV narratives. I'm Jerry. This is my ex-wife, Jessica. And I'm Kayla Bay, Jerry's new girlfriend. And we all live as one big happy family. They just create drama, all right? They start shit. There's producers. That's the whole job. It's just how TV works. It's simple. Everyone knows it. We want crazy. We want insane. We want ratings. They want you to subsist only on crickets and fat people on TV, all right? That's almost like an alternate intro to Family Guy. Crickets and fat people on TV. Sex and, sex and movie. I don't know where I was going with that. It's kind of dumb. I shouldn't have said that. Not to mention as well, TLC has been caught lying to everyone on multiple occasions, okay? Many different times. They make folks sign NDAs so they can't lie too much because it's not like against the law or whatever. There was one specific case of extreme cheapskates that came out a few months ago that exposed TLC for making people look like the absolute worst versions of themselves. They want to put characters on TV that you can judge easily and just throw out, you know, the baby out with the bathwater. Who cares about context, nuance? Who cares about anything but what's on the screen? <laughs> Stuff like that, you know? You know what I mean? It's a disgusting cyclical disease they use to fill their bank accounts at the expense of others. And they underpay these mother too, which is, which is insane. Melody Gravit, one of the stars of an episode of Extreme Cheapskates, came out and said that 90% of everything was just fake, was misinterpreted via editing or camera work, etc. In the episode, the absolute deviants made it look like the family used the same bathwater to wash each other's My family and I are so cheap that we all share one tub of water a day. We don't have cooties. We're never that dirty. It just makes sense to use the same water. That's weird. I wouldn't like somebody if, they, if I knew they were cleaned in water and <laughs> ball juice. <laughs> the episode also claimed that the woman, Melody, forced her family to wipe their asses with newspaper. I don't buy toilet paper. I use newspapers that we get free in town. Pick up one sheet. You don't need more than that. You crumple it up. Which she confirmed was not true. Who are we going to believe? Reality TV show or this this lady. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we'll believe her for now, okay? All right, we'll believe her. Hi, my name is Kate Hashimoto, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. Kate Hashimoto is probably the most well-known cheapskate that got the shortest end of the stick when it comes to being trashed in an episode. I generally try to avoid spending any money at all. Especially with the public reception. She got clowned hard, bro. And not just for, like, stuff she did in an episode, also just her looks, her accent. People are just really mean, all right? But alas, this is the kind of audience that TLC has fostered, and they are feeding them like they're baby birding them. <laughs> and Kate, like Melody, confirmed in an interview that it's all smoke and mirrors, and it's exaggerated for entertainment purposes. 
the show is really about entertainment, and I just feel that people also took the show way too seriously, and attacking me for、um, also like the exaggerated character that I played. Since、um, well, I mean, part of it was true, and part of it was just kind of exaggerated in order to make、um, make people. You know, just amused and entertained. Another character led astray by the Learning Channel is my boy Casey. All right, when I found out, oh my God, he's one of the most incredible guys, and he's been on an incredible journey. He's doing extremely well currently. You should follow him on Instagram and me too. Follow me too on Instagram as well. You know, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Swear to God. But you'd never know that if you watched、uh, his episode of My Three Thousand Pound Family, Casey King edition. I never would have thought at 34 I'd be living with my father, and I'd be have no job, have no real money, and just be playing video games all day and eating. They made him look absolutely terrible, and it spawned so many reaction videos of YouTubers reacting to it and just being completely mean. I reacted to it, and I was mean. You did not get your right order. Are you、oh、kidding my. me? No, you didn't. Because if you ordered yourself a meal, it's not in here. Well, whatever. Here you go. There's your lunch. What? This guy's a freaking dickhead. I don't feel bad for him anymore at all. But it was funny when I was mean. <laughs> he actually, he did say, it. "I was, <laughs> I was mean." Actually, speaking to him doesn't even seem like the same human being as in as in those、uh, those episodes that are up there for everyone to see. He was misrepresented horribly. My time talking to him was also when I learned that they give them small chairs. They give them small chairs. They give the, the the obese people small chairs so they look bigger than they actually are. Also, funny, they kept giving me a smaller chair so <sighs> I still look big. <laughs> That's like a comically sized chair just to make you look bigger than you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very ma many things are not in order. Him being filmed naked. Oh my God, Nanners, where are you? When he took all the food. He'll tell me what to get him, and I come right back a lot of times in case that's too much food. The bathing trough moment. Oh, the slipper. It is yet another example of misinterpretation, smoke and mirrors, lies. Okay. The main point of all of this is that these shows kind of set out on a vague message to help people lose weight. These specifically, the extreme cheapskates. There's not really an end. It's really just a like a voyeur into. I think that's a category. <laughs> it's like just a, a a looking glass into someone's crazy OCD life, and that's interesting. The morbid obesity arc of TLC is. Interesting in a very morbid way, because a lot of these stories, if they don't change, if they continue on the same path, end abruptly in death. She's pissing precious time away that she really ain't got. She's playing with bartered time. Because that's just what happens, and it's sad, and it's terrible, and that's what TLC loves. Okay, that's how they've gotten this far, and this brings me to Tammy Slate, Thousand Pound Sisters. All right, the most infamous of all TLC shows. I'm trying to get Tammy out of the house so that she won't think about food. And Tammy is one of my favorite people on the internet. I've gone from disliking her as some, you know,、uh, insolent, indignant, childlike, immature creature who just doesn't do anything right and is a huge brat. When I seen the stairs, I immediately knew I wasn't going to be able to go up them. You want to try? I can't. Okay. To kind of seeing what it is that TLC does best, and realizing that oh, maybe she's not a、uh, annoying entitled cow. That's really rude. I shouldn't say that. She definitely has some insolence running through her veins. That is obvious. But whenever I see content that she makes herself that isn't overseen by a, a TLC producer, it seems normal. You know, well, big, but still normal. You know, it's it. She's just goofy, but definitely not a villain. Definitely not a villain. Does she like? Men who like big broads? Yes. Ab Is broads? If I don't even, I feel like I'm stepping on toes right now. Does she like men who like big, big women? <laughs> yeah, she does, and that I think that's kind of funny. But she's goofy. She's not a villain. That's made out by TLC for sure. Not. I mean, look at one of the videos on Tammy and Amy's channel. It's it's adorable. So this trick is, you have to get as many spiders out of this bucket. Using this. The old videos, for sure, were a bit insane, and it was inviting people to say that they're cringe and crazy, whatever, and trashy. Twerk, 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 twerk. You twerk. <laughs> I only do that when I play my little dinosaur. <laughs> do the cabbage patch. 
<laughs> Never again. Which they are all those things. <laughs> I mean, you can still be those things and be a good person, though. But things have changed. Content now is sweet. You know, she's just dancing and singing on TikTok, moving around, giving some advice to a random commenter on TikTok. That's adorable. But it's also very sad. This whole thing, to me, is extremely sad. Because TLC, in my opinion, hates these two people. There's no other way. They don't care about their well-being, for sure. TLC absolutely does not care about their well-being. They'll take a clip of Tammy emotionally speaking about how dirty her home was and how much bullying that that uh, brought onto her and then literally edit a cockroach behind her. And I try so hard not to show them in my videos and stuff and then y'all see them and it's just hard. <laughs> I mean, that is the most fun evil thing you could possibly do to someone. They're just like, look at this southern idiot. Look at this dumb idiot that we're just giving a little bit of, just a little bit of something to. There you go. There's 50 bucks. Okay, now make a whole other season. All right, and hopefully you don't die. But if you do, we can make another season of just the funeral processions. To me, it doesn't seem uh, that TLC likes the people that it puts in its shows. And there's a lot of explanations for this. Probably the main one is that negative things happening are more clickable and more watchable. In my opinion, I like watching, you know, a dumpster fire. Everyone does. Just sit back, get me a brewski, get me a brewski, get my in my hand and just start watching some shit go down. All right, that's what we did back in the 40s. Back in the 40s, we just walked down a trailer road and then you see old Thomas out there in the back with his dumpster dragon and he'd just have that thing and he'd be beating on his wife and it would just be a damn show. Yeah, TLC loves drama. All right, they love just starting shit, making people look terrible. Because like I said, I've watched Tammy's TikToks. She's adorable on her TikTok. Well, maybe actually, maybe she just puts the best, since she has full control over the edits, Maybe she's just making herself look better. You think she's smart enough to do that? I don't think she is. You know, not to be mean or anything, but I think she's just a genuinely nice person. I don't think she's a manipulative, um, evil, <laughs> the guy behind the curtain in Wizard of Oz. What's his name? What the f*** are you talking about? TLC loves him looking like shit, okay? And they claim to try to help them. A lot of the episodes are of them going and trying to get weight loss surgery and all these check-ins, etc. <laughs> But our favorite girl, Tammy, has almost died multiple times. The facility had called and told me Tammy had took a turn for the worst, and they had transferred, transported Tammy by ambulance to the hospital, and she had quit breathing. How did TLC help? I don't think they really did. If anything, they just made it worse. She needs to lose weight is what needs to happen for everything to get better. But if she loses weight, they don't got a show. No one cares at that point. No one cares. No one cares about that. Enough about Tammy and Amy though. I wanna move on to something a little bit more morbid, a little bit more terrible. And the thing that I hope does not happen to either one of the sisters in the Thousand Pound Sisters. I do hope that TLC helps these people in a way and that the audiences help these people in a way that they can live their lives and not die early. But like I said, TLC probably wouldn't like that because that hurt, that's bad for ratings. And they kind of have a, uh, a, a, an interesting past when it comes to people, especially people who starred in the show My 600 Pound Life. This show is basically just profiting off of death, in my opinion. I mean, it's disturbing, all right? The whole thing just features people who are in extremely poor physical and mental health. Well, I eat as much as I can, and I love it. I love everything about it, except how I know it's killing me and taking my life from me. Because at my size now, my life is hard but I don't want it to get to the point where it's unbearable. And these shows make millions of dollars. And does it trickle down into these people? I don't know exactly. I heard an unconfirmed story that these people get paid the amount of maybe a weight loss surgery plus like fifteen dollars to $50,000. If you know anything about film, they're making a lot more than that, okay? TLC is making substantially more than that. The producer makes that a month right at least so they have no excuse to not help the people that are in these shows that are making such an incredible brand it's quite literally profiting off death more times than not with some of their shows some of the people of my 600 pound life uh, manage to keep high spirits during these terrible times that are monetized and filmed in spite of their unfortunate circumstances but some are unable to you know move and do things like we saw with tammy and, and many other of these characters the only thing that they can do is eat and then eventually die now how many people have died on my 600 pound life way more than you'd think. So far, 11 have died since 2012. That's like one a year. That's not good. That's not good because there's not that many 
overall. That's like a, a large percentage. This genre of content is a literal blood diamond. It's insane. And there's almost nothing that TLC does to help. My life, you know, not only revolves around her, but my life is played with her. I would be lost without her. So I knew it for her. Helping these people with like therapists and coaches and mindset coaches and just getting them positive reinforcement because it, it, the negative stuff works for some people, but for most people it doesn't. All right. And it probably is not going to work when you're already down the path, when things have gone negatively parabolic and there's not really much you can do. You can't even walk. They've got ad revenue, YouTube, a ton of different advertisers. I get my videos demonetized for nothing and they literally monetize shows about people dying from eating too much where they just they're just filming it they're like this is okay like if i did that if i found a real fat guy and i just no, filmed it until he died i would be the worst youtuber ever <laughs> but alas tlc is totally cool they uh farm their 15 youtube channels and then just you know poorly portray these people online allow them to get attacked bullied and ridiculed which i can't imagine helps all that much all right it's just like dr phil that all that shit is so negative. It, it does nothing good. Well, let's just talk just about what was on her. tape. You said you're ugly. You are disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give me $200. And, you know, take personal responsibility. Obviously, that's implied. All right. But I, I feel like it's harder to do things and to pull yourself up by your bootstraps when you have 600 pounds or 800 pounds just <laughs> weighing you to the ground. Just like grab. <laughs> like if I weigh, if I had 100 pounds on my chest, I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't move at all. It's hard to point fingers and play the blame game. You know, who's really to blame? Maybe not TLC fully, but are they profiting off of it heavily? And do they want these people to continue to get worse and continue to exist and die? Yes, it seems like it. Seems like it. They're definitely not helping, that's for sure. Another honorable mention of TLC just profiting off death is the whole Justin Bieber lookalike thing, which there was a lot of reaction channels and commentary channels that just clowned on this dude. My name is Toby. I'm 33. A gentleman by the name of Toby Sheldon was obsessed with looking like Justin Bieber. To achieve my perfect Justin Bieber look. The man obviously had some serious issues with his self-image and crazy insecurities that caused him to go into the knife a ton of times and spend more than $100,000 in cosmetic surgery to look like Justin Bieber. Uh, but he was found dead. I said that as if it was like a punchline to a joke. I'm sorry, it's not. I said it as if Toby was the only one. He's not. All right, there's also the person addicted to smelling gasoline. And I'm addicted to smelling gasoline. The person addicted to drinking gasoline. And I'm addicted to drinking gasoline. The person addicted to drinking air freshener. And I'm addicted to drinking air freshener. The powdered cleaner eater. I have an odd habit of ingesting a household cleanser. Weight loss surgery canceled because of weight gain. You show me today that you're not sticking with it like you need. So I'm canceling your surgery and we're not moving ahead with that today. Oh, and wait. This person did pass away. Rest in peace. 